Okay, hello everyone, welcome back. So, in this video, we are going to use the master page which we created in video two. So now we are going to create. Now we are going to create web pages. Okay, so and we'll be using the master page which we created in video two. So in the first video, we learned about what is all about this uh, ASP.NET project and what we are going to do, the requirements of three web pages and all those things in first video. And second video, we created a web application and uh, we completed using uh, creating a master page. And in this video, we are going to create the web pages. So if I open this project page, so now if we are going to create this login page and we are going to create this uh, factorial number page and we are going to create this uh, check prime number page only on the UI part. We are only going to do the UI part. Okay, so without much delay, let's get started and let me open Visual Studio and and this is the master page which we created in uh, the previous video two recording. Now we are going to use this. So, so what I'm going to do is right click on this, add new item, I'm going to add new item and I'm going to select ASP.NET web form using master page. So I'm selecting web form with master page and I'm going to give the name as login.aspx. So let's give this login.aspx and click on add. Now I'm going to select the master page here. Note that your website can have any number of master pages here and you need to select the which one you need. So I have only one master page, site1.master and I'm going to select that, click on okay. Now. I have added that. You can see one ID here, uh, the content ID content one in the head section, which we are go we are not going to use. If you see here, there is one in the head section content placeholder, and there is one more content placeholder in this section. So we are going to use this content placeholder one. So we are not going to use the content placeholder in the head section. So let's leave this as as it is for now. And in this section, whatever we have inside that, we are going to create the login page now. So if you notice here, now uh, let's go to the requirements page and you can see that after some gap, after some gap here and we need to have this user ID and password and login button. So let's get started with that. So here I'm going to put here um, user ID and I'm going to put ASP colon text box ID is equal to txt um, user ID and then one more important field run at server. Okay. And I'm going to add one more here. Let me add some BR tag and BR tag. I'm going to put here password and ASP colon text box ID is equal to txt password and and run at server. Remember this is password so you had to put here text mode. Text mode is equal to text mode is equal to password because you don't want to see the password when the user is typing it. So we are done with this and let's add a couple of BR tags for the button. So login button. So now I'm going to put here ASP colon button. ID is equal to BTN login and uh, text is equal to login. And I'm going to put runner server. So now let's see how the look, uh, how the UI looks like. So I'm just going in the designer mode and I'm just seeing here, okay, we are seeing this uh, user ID, password and login button. So we're not much worried about uh, much worried about the uh, look and feel for now. We are worried about completing this um, now. So uh, we need to add this validation controls for these two. So let's try to add those validation controls. So when the user clicks on the login button without entering these two, we need to display we need to display uh, a message. Okay. So after this text box, I'm going to add here ASP colon required field validator and ID is equal to RFV, uh, we are going to validate um, our user ID and uh, I'm going to put error message, error message is equal to user ID is mandatory and uh, run at server and uh, control to validate, I want to validate which control, I want to validate this control txt user ID and normally error messages we display in red color so let's put that uh, for color is equal to red, so for color is equal to red and we are good with this. So we are done with the required field validator for this control to validate and let's put this star and then space. So we are good with this uh, user ID. Let's do the same thing for password. Password is also mandatory field. So so we are going to put here again ASP colon ASP okay ASP colon uh, required field validator okay 
and ID is equal to ID is equal to RFV password password and a uh, runner server and text mode we don't need text mode here so what else we need record field validator and uh, error message we need error message is equal to star space password is mandatory and and then we can put control to validate is equal to we need to put this control txt password so let's put this password and again the same thing we need to have error message in red color so for color is equal to red okay close this and let's see if this works or not so I'm going to go for design mode and let's see how it looks like okay this looking better so let's run this and see how it looks like so my company website I'm going to make this in master page um, I need to have that a little bit bigger so so the size I'm going to increase it a little bit so I'm going to increase it to um, okay uh, my mistake has selected small so I'm going to increase it to large value okay so now let's see save this and let's save this login form and let's right click on this login form and set a startup page and run this and see how it looks like so I'm going to run this code in Google Chrome that's fine so let's see how this looks like okay it's loading it's taking some time and we are getting some error okay so normally we might see this error uh, especially when uh, with Visual Studio 2013 Community Edition so what we are going to do now to resolve this is I'm going to copy this and and I'm going to put it here so let's paste it again I'm going to search for this error now mostly I prefer to select stack overflow results so let's see how what could be the resolution for that now I'm going to add this in if you see here there is a solution of adding this part in web.config so let's copy this and uh, stop the project and go to web.config file normally we get this error with 2013 community edition when we are using ASP.NET validation controls so let's go to web.config file and configuration and paste this save it and run this code and let's see how it looks like it's taking some time okay now we can see this uh, okay so uh, the footer is taking a lot of space and header is taking a lot of space and let's try to put some um, height for uh, the header and the footer right so the alignment is okay more or less okay the header and footer are taking a lot of space so now let's try to modify those alignments now so what we're going to do now is we're going to do we're going to this master page and and what we will be doing here is we need to put some height for this TD so where is this TD and call span this is everything is fine and I'm going to put this height here so height height is equal to I'm going to put 100 pixels okay so and for this I'm going to put 250 240 pixels okay that's fine and uh, how about this one I'm going to put height uh, the last one I'm going to put height is equal to 50 pixels okay let's save the master page and looks and see how it looks like I stop the project although you don't need to stop if you're changing anything in the ASPX or, or the master page only if you're changing in CS file you might need to stop and restart so now let's see how the alignment looks like we might need to put center tag uh, we might need to put this everything in the center so let's see how it looks like okay it's looking better and we might need this in um, we might need this in the center so what I'm not going to stop the project this time and I'm going to put this table inside the center tag although you can put this div tag also I mean you can use div tag or whatever so I'm going to put this table and I'm going to remove the space and save it okay by mistake I stopped it okay that's fine save it and run this project now now everything will be center aligned and the page looks more or less better so let's see how it looks like okay this is looking more or less better my website and user ID password so we can put this align center we can add some table box for it and whatever I'm going to click on login I'm getting this error message and I'm leaving this and this error message and at this point of time if I click on login nothing will happen because we need to write the logic there 
Okay, so it looks good and we can still increase the height for this or whatever it is. So now the next part which we're going to do now is we are going to create the UI for, we are going to create, in the next video, we're going to learn about how to use, how to create a user control. Okay, thanks for watching.